All right, help me out, people. This is either a bug or a glitch or just my logic is off. So I have a check-in, check-out app um, that currently reads an item being unavailable or available uh, based on the status of that item. And I have some conditional buttons when I click on this unavailable, sorry, this available item. I have it either checking out the item or checking in the item depending upon the availability. In my data sheet, I have its current status, which is a lookup of the current status in the log. And so it shows as being available at the moment. And I have an if then being, if this is available, then the next status is unavailable and vice versa. And then what I want to happen is that whenever somebody submits a form, so they submit this form, I have, I have the next status becoming the new status. So once again, so because this is available, the next status is unavailable. And so when they check out this iPad, the unavailable tag then gets applied to the new status in the record in my log. All right, so theoretically everything should work. I click on check out this iPad, again, the next status for iPad number two, which currently is iPad number two, the next status is currently unavailable. So this unavailable tag should become the record for the status column for the item as soon as I submit the entry. All right, let's pop in some information here. I agree, submit, I wait. And what happens is everything kind of, you know, so my image shows up, my email shows up, the ID number shows up, but it still shows as being available. And because of that, the conditional check out this iPad is still available. When I check the record, I see that the status for this item is available. It should have been the next status, which was the unavailable, right? Which is what I had chosen to begin with. And so the only thing I can see happening here is that when I go to submit the form, this if then statement is um, overwriting, or is there, maybe that's happening first before or it's doing this check first before it actually records the data in the sheet, maybe. And so because of that, it spits back that it's unavailable here. So it spits it as being unavailable here, which then the form shows it as maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Um, help me out. Thanks.